Hello everyone, and welcome to the channel. I'm Kroof, and I'm so happy to see you here. In today's video, I want to have a larger conversation around the current balance and pace of the combat in Guild Wars 2. To announce and make very clear, this discussion of balance and combat will revolve around the structured PvP game mode of Conquest, so everything discussed will be under that umbrella. In addition to this, I can only speak from my personal experience of playing the game mode in a high gold to a low platinum rank when I'm really getting lucky and playing my hardest. So other people's experience, dedication, and intensity may differ. My ultimate goal in a video game is to have fun, and my fun originates largely from the gameplay, as it does with so many of us. And Guild Wars 2's combat is truly special in that regard. However, over the years, through intentional or unintentional means, I've noticed the combat of the game has been increasing in speed and intensity, leaving little to no windows of reaction, especially with certain builds. Now, there have been a couple balance patches which have put combat speed back into a more manageable pace than where it once was, but I feel there are still certain outliers in combat philosophy I would like to further discuss here. These being skill area of effect radius, cooldowns, and casting speeds. I will be touching on two professions which seem to be highly picked and valued in PvP, and using them as examples throughout my talking points these being the Guardian and the Necromancer. Let's first take a look back to the past of when Guild Wars 2 was first being demoed. Picture it, Tyria 2010. All the skill effects would blow up RTX 3080s and there were energy bars on all- Oop. Oh, oh wait, we might've gone too far back. Yeah, let's just jump ahead a little bit more. Guild Wars 2 circa 2012 was a vastly different combat experience from the very first showings of the highly anticipated sequel to the strategy-esque MMO Guild Wars 1. By the time the final betas and subsequently the launch of Guild Wars 2 rolled out, the energy and trait systems went through a hefty overhaul, and more so mimicked the game we play today. However, there are a couple glaring differences from launch to current day. No, no, not the fact that Phoenix and many other spells and animations have been visually toned down, but the reality that Guild Wars 2, years ago, was a slower game where a player had to strategically place and time their AoE skills to land, all while allowing enemy players a bit more time to react. Now, throughout the years, the AoE radius of many skills have been drastically increased and had their animations quickened, allowing easier strikes and map pressure. Two areas which come to mind would be Necromancer's staff marks and the elite specialization of the Guardian, the Firebrand. Necromancer, a core profession and one of their core weapons, the staff, used to have their marks balanced to a radius of 120, which in my opinion was a bit too small, even for my liking, then was raised to 180, and then was raised again to where it now stands at 240 for the mark to trigger, but actually blasts its skill in a radius of 300. From Mark's initial conception of a small radius of 120, to now a much larger radius of 300 skill effect, over the years, staff marks have received a 180 unit radius increase. Hurrah for simple maths, we love subtraction. Such large radii makes sense in a game mode as large as, say, World vs. World, but for structured PvP, and perhaps even PvE, such large areas are not necessary especially when considering that the bulk of PvP combat takes place on a node, which is oftentimes no bigger than, say, 300 units of radii. In a similar vein, the Firebrand's access to tomes also gives them incredible area of effect pressure, with their fourth skill affecting an area of 360 units, fully engulfing many capture points. With the introduction of the second expansion for Guild Wars 2, Path of Fire, the game saw a drastic increase in area of effect radii, with the Firebrand and even the Scourge being major contributors to this change. In addition to the topic of ever-increasing AoE sizes, spell and skill cast times and cooldowns are another instance of changes to the combat of Guild Wars 2 over the years. This topic might not be as general as the ever-increasing size of AoEs, as this topic targets only a selection of skills, However, when looking at early Guild Wars 2, the casting times and cooldowns of many skills were much greater, placing the player in a mindset of heightened strategy to get the best use of their skills, as if they misfired their attacks, they would have to wait for it to come off an extended cooldown. Certain skills which have received great reduction in cooldown would be the Elementalist's Shatterstone, 
I know, I know, a good old meme. All necromancer marks, all resurrection skills, and even their cast times. Certain traps, such as Dragon Hunter's Elite Trap, Dragon's Maw, and many, many more skills. The ever-decreasing cooldown and casting time situation is the most direct change which has transformed Guild Wars 2 combat into a lightning-fast pace. Certain builds and playstyles logically should be allowed to have that strike-hard and strike-fast playstyle, most notably Thieves, Revenants, and even some Elementalist builds, considering their low vitality and other limiting factors. Now, I'm not saying that these should be the only classes that have access to this playstyle, but what I would argue is that there should be a clear and logical trade-off when going into this playstyle, such as lower health, lower toughness, decreased movement speed, an inability to cleanse conditions while applying every boon in the game on yourself. I recently asked you all on Twitter, link in the description, how you felt about the current pace of combat in Guild Wars 2, and many of you who voted said you liked where it was. And I would largely agree, there have been glaring eras in Guild Wars 2's life where this was more so the case of not having such trade-offs. But I still get the sensation when playing that there can still be tuning to bring down encroaching radii and increase certain casting time and cooldowns to allow for a more strategic player experience. Call me an originalist or a slowpoke, but I've always enjoyed MMO combat to allow for more reaction time and strategy rather than button mashing, keyboard smashing, let's hope I press more buttons type of gameplay. Oh boy, I haven't even touched on boon or condi bombing, the balance implications of movement speed bloating, or even how if you're a healer in this game, you're also a tank who can't die. But I'll leave those topics for another video. And to those who say that these aforementioned ideas would mess with the fluidity of Guild Wars 2's combat, I would say, nay nay. There is a stark difference between having cast times and reducing AoE pressure to better allow either accessibility or participation in such game modes, and adding a global cooldown, which would totally mess with the fluidity of chaining skills together or cancelling skills to activate another more valued one. But hey, these are just the ramblings of a Guild Wars 2 fan. Hope you all enjoyed and appreciate this discussion. Once again, I have only my experience to talk of, so please go down in the comments and throw your own experience in the ring if you'd like. I'm an official Arena Nut partner, so I have links down below if you'd like to pre-order End of Dragons and purchase the existing expansions, or try Guild Wars 2 for free, recommend it to a friend even. Support the channel by heading over to Patreon, and subscribe, like, comment, and all that stuff. And I'll catch you all in the next video. Bye everyone! Mwah.